Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Season 3 of Medieval Engineers Planet on the Radio Man 03, and as always, it is truly awesome to have you along. We are going to launch a new world, and it was suggested by Gold Dragon that we try the Middle Earth version out this time. It's a planet with a safe start, with safe starting areas and caves to find and explore. I like that idea. The empty planet, it doesn't have those things, as far as I can tell. It doesn't say it does, but this guy does. It's got some buildings and things like that that we can bump into and see. So let's do that this time, okay? We're going to be on survival mode. We're going to call this season... Well, that's not season at all. Season 3. And let's go... Let's go into advanced settings. We're going to go two times the carry weight because there's no way I'm going to play without that. Day duration, solar altitude, we're going to bring this up to 40. That gives us a nice long day. And max objects, we're good to go all through here, I believe. Resource decay, abandoned castle decay, okay. NPCs, we've got 10 on here. That works for me. Servants per player, zero. Servants per player. What does that mean? We'll have to, I'll have to look at that and see. Does that mean I get the NPCs in here? I don't know, we'll have to see. Barbarians on, animals on, you bet we do. And the fast travel and all this stuff going on, maximum travel distance, okay. And uh, we're good to go there. We're good to go there, okay. Mods, we're gonna go ahead and leave alone right now, but I did want you to know that um, if you didn't check out the comments in the last, uh, in episode 54, uh, a few of these have been fixed. They are available, okay? Storied Past got his mods fixed. So the Jack, the Full Moon. Let's go put the Moon in. We've got to have the Moon. I love the Moon. But the Glass Windows and the Jack, which helps out a lot for your carts, those are available, okay? So we're going to put that one on, the Moon at least, for now. And then we'll, we'll throw some more in. Now, in terms of mods, I do not use mods that help me to mine faster or anything. I don't fly. This is all done in survival mode. We're going to go out and get the materials, and we're going to build with those materials. I would love to find that walkway right there. <laughs> Where is, where's that road? Ah, beautiful. So it looks like it drops us off at a structure right off the bat. Cool. Very cool. Oh my gosh, this is pretty neat. I think this might be a lot of fun. It was suggested that we do this. And, uh, you know. Grab. Grab. F to open. Shift right click and boom, you're, you're in there. You grab the stuff. Oh, that's nice. Berries. Lots of berries. Looks like they were uh, getting ready to do some brouhaha in here, huh? Definitely. Oh, I think, what am I sticking on? Oh, it must be the curvature of the uh, the stone there. So you got to stay on the outside of the staircase. Is that the better way to do it? Looks like it. What do we got here? We got a crafting bench we can't do anything with. I mean, looks like we could probably craft with it, but we can't break it. Ah, wardrobe. Oh, we want to get rid of this. Let's go down here with that. Saturation zero. And let's bring this down, make it a little bit darker. And I think we're good to go there. We're good. We're good. All right, beautiful. Anything in here? Upstairs. What's up here? Let's take a look on up here. Mm-hmm. Now, we didn't do this last season. We just did an empty planet. Oh, look at the view here, though. That is beautiful. Nice. Very nice. Mm-hmm. I think Keen Software House did a marvelous job of making the world look better. It's got a little more detail and less detail at the same time, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I, I noticed the, the grass isn't quite as thick all over the place, so the game runs a little bit better. And, of course, they changed the grass colors and stuff like that a while back. Anything in the back here? No. Okay. That's pretty snazzy, though. I like that. I like that a lot. Anything over on this side of it? No. Look at that little building right there, though. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Oops. There we go. We're going to do a little jump there. Mm -hmm. Let's go over and check out this little house. See what we got going on over here. Uh, the forest and everything looks much better. I, I love the way it looks with the moss and the trees and the, the greener grasses here and there. Okay, we've got some uh, workbenches. We've got a couple of fire pits. Anything inside these guys here? No, nothing there. I suppose if you wanted to start out here, you could. I do like that, that chimney idea, though. That's pretty nice. I like that. 
Uh, I feel like uh, west is the direction I would like to go. Let's take a look at the map here. Uh, let's see, what do we got going on here? Now, here's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for mountain ranges. I am looking for a forest nearby. Nice quality iron deposits, hopefully. And all those things kind of stuck together. Stuck together. Now, I also want to make mention that I am not upset that we have to start Season 3. I'm actually very excited about it. I, I enjoy starting over. It's really fun. We had 54 episodes in the last season. 53, actually, where we were building and working together on stuff. 54 was a look at the 5.1 update, which we found out that since we had some mods used in the, uh, the Rising Sun Kingdom, uh, those blocks were gone now because, of course, the mods have not been updated yet, which I'm... I'm quite positive the d developers of the mods, those guys are probably working on those mods as we speak. Storied past, he's already fixed his and they're ready to go for, you know, our next season here. So that's fantastic. Um, so it would take some time for those two things to happen. And uh, Keen Software House, I'm sure they're working on some bugs as well. But I'm a YouTuber and I'm supposed to be entertaining you with videos. So by me not having videos up about medieval engineers and just sitting around and waiting for something to happen, it's just not going to work for me and I don't think it's going to work for you guys either. I want to I want to do something. So let's really, as I mentioned in the last episode of Season 2, that short little video, let's look at this as we Season 2 was a, a huge learning experience for us. We learned the blocks, we learned how to build with them, which was which has been fixed now. All the different little quirks and stuff with the blocks have been fixed, where you had to be on one wall and on the other side of the wall in order to put them together because you were in the block's way or whatever it was. That's been fixed. So now you can be where you are and you can put it in. If you've got a, a, a piece of ceiling above you you want to hammer in, it, you know, it made us like uh, when we put, the, uh, we put the end together. I had to go outside, break a roof tile to go inside to hammer that piece of flooring in. Now you can do it from down below. So they've got that stuff fixed. So we learned the blocks. Uh, we built a beautiful kingdom. We had a lot of fun with everything. A whole lot of subscriber input was put into that world as well. And uh, it, it turned out great. So now I'm looking forward to doing something different. You guys have already sent in a bunch of suggestions. I'd say about, God, I'm, I'm going to say 90, 99% of you people all wanted to see, let's start a new world. Let's start a new world. Let's not do any mods just yet. Let's wait. We don't have any loaded up except for the moon. I do want the moon out because it's, uh, you know, it's nice to have the moon in the sky. But, uh, yeah, so let's do it. And I've got ideas in my head. Uh, those of you who might be new to the channel, uh, there, and new to the game as well, there is a upper left-hand corner there is the tutorial. If you follow along with that, you're going you're gonna to jump into the game with no problem as well. They've added that to the game also, so it's a pretty fantastic thing. Uh, we're going to need some food, aren't we? We're going to need some food. I need to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Let's grab a little bit of herb. There we go. Some herbage. And we'll grab this one right over here, too, so we can make, uh, you know, we'll be able to cook up a few things. The wheat, we will leave behind right now, but we will grab this flax that we're coming up on. I want to head west. I feel like west. Uh, go west, young man. Go west is a good idea. Well, there's a pumpkin coming up ahead, too. All these things are food, and we're going to pick them up. The flax, I want to keep my eyes open for that especially. And uh, I, I didn't notice, but there is a bit of a uh, particle effect. When you grab stuff, a little, puff of, a little puff of dust, a little puff of dirt that comes up when you grab things. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but yeah, it's just a little, little something there. Let's grab a few sticks. We're going to need some of these guys, too. You just hold down F if you're new to the game. You don't have to keep pushing F. You can just hold it down and pick it up. We've got berries we got berries coming out of our ears right now. What's up over this hill? <laughs> That's what everybody says. What's up over this hill? Uh, a road. This road looks like it leads right through this valley here and kind of goes up in here. Huh. Wow, look at this area right down in here. This looks pretty nice, huh? Big forest with the mountains right here. There is a road right through here, but I don't know if that's enough road for me. We've got quite a bit of road going on through here. I'm just kind of looking at the map. I don't want to travel too far or have this take too long to uh, to take care of. I, I want to uh, I want to get to building with you guys. We got we got lots of work to do. Lots of digging. Lots of work. Building, hammering, sticks, stone, timber. Yeah, all of it. 
all of it as usual uh, but so much fun so much fun what is it telling us it wants us to do it wants us to uh, oh get sticks and stone I see okay well we'll just keep on meandering this way and we'll see what happens we're heading we're heading west we're not gonna follow that road I decided we're not going to we're going to uh, continue this way I like west that's a neat mountain right there huh I don't think I want to be too close to the uh, the buildings we saw at the beginning. I don't want to be too close to those, though. That's a nice mountain, though. Look at that land up on top there that you could build on. All those barbarians, they would have a tough time. Oh, and if you're new to the game, I don't know if it's the, the same case as, as it used to be, but the barbarians won't come until you start putting some blocks down, and I believe it's five blocks. You guys correct me if I'm wrong, those of you who are familiar with this. It's been a long time since I had to worry about whether or not I was going to kick in the barbarian gear or not, but I believe it's about five blocks. Once you lay five in a row, boom, barbarians are activated and they will start coming after you and you have to be ready to defend yourself. Herbs, gotta have them, love them, need them. So look at the iron deposit up here. I see that. I see one down here, but we're, we're really too close. Oh, flax. There we go. Let's grab this stuff up, too. I want enough of this to... Uh, and you know what? Look at this. Look at the little flax that hasn't grown yet. That's pretty cool. Let's grab that stuff right there. We're going to need that. We're going to want to get some seeds going once we figure out where we're going to be. We'll plant, uh, we'll plant some stuff and get it going. Foraging, I think, works just as good, though. I mean, there's, I mean, look at all this wheat we've gone by already. There's just tons upon tons of wheat all over the place. It's really fantastic. Keen Software House did a nice job with this latest update, the 5.1. I think it's very well done. The forest has got a really beautiful look to it now, and I, I just can't get over how, how nice this looks. We've got a little less grass, and it just looks better. It does look better. Uh, let's grab a few of these small stones. Objective completed. Congratulations, Radio Man! You've completed a task. I know, I know, I know. I believe it wants us to make an axe next, right? Craft it. We get rid of all that stuff down here, and let's put the axe, yeah, axe on number two. There we go, yeah, uh-huh. Stay clear of falling trees. They'll kill you. Won't think twice about it. They're not going to ask if you liked it or not. They're just going to do it. Uh, we could use a few more little rocks, I think. Oh, there we go. And we'll grab a few more sticks and some more mushrooms because we are going to have to do a little bit of cooking. I'm also looking for some roots. I'm kind of hoping we can find roots without them being attached to uh, berry bushes, but that might not be the case. They're not quite as visible that way, so you're better off, I think, just finding some berry bushes and uh, picking them. Just pick the berry bushes. Do it. So I hope you guys are excited for Season 3. I truly am. I've got some great ideas in my head. And then, again, of course, you guys have already sent in some suggestions as well. So we've got that going for us, too. Uh, if you don't know these berries, uh, there's... We've just picked berries. we got a stick. And now we've got the root. I think we get sticks. And another stick. And let's grab this whole berry bush here. We've got some more stones. Another stone right there. We got ourselves a mountain range coming up here, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have to scale over the top of this guy here, too. Inventory. Let's eat a few of these berries. There we go. Perfect. Let's get those out of the way there. Yummy. Delicious, delicious berries. All right. Let's, uh, let's head up to the top of the hill here. If you don't know, if you hit V, you can pull this back behind you, and you can see your character. I always like to do that every now and again so you guys can see us. We're in our <laughs> tidy whities here. <laughs> It's nice. I like it. I like it very much. Instead of roaming around uh, in the yellow, we can uh, roam around in our uh, normal garb here. Mm-hmm. Whoa. What the heck was that? Oh, look at the moon. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, you hear the breeze? It's a beautiful breeze up here. And if you're new to the game, push T to walk, and he will walk all on his own. You can take your hands away from the keyboard, away from the mouse. As long as you got him steered in the right direction, he will continue to proceed forward. It's uh, also a very nice addition. I wonder if that road that we were looking at isn't the same road that cuts right through here now. Maybe so. We are looking for... 
The trivecta of things. Iron, mountains, and a very close by forest. All of it. And this time I would like to try to find an iron deposit that is rich. We did not have very rich iron deposits in our last season. It was five stone and then one iron, five stone, one iron, five stone, one iron. And it was uh, not very profitable. And the iron, I was always having to go find more. And I would like to find a nice rich deposit so we can get a bunch of it. So we can, uh, we don't have to hold back on making torches and tools and, you know, things of that nature. We can just play and have a good time with it. So we are going to be looking for some, some dark, rich ores. All right, we're at the bottom of the hill. I think we could run a little bit now. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty nice valley up here. But the forest is looking pretty scarce. How are we doing on the map here? We are still heading west. Oh, that's the road. You know what? We're going to hit that road, and we're going to turn and go north. I'm, I'm liking what I see right in here. I, I'm liking this little pass right through here and these roads right in here. I'm liking what I see here. So let's try to do this. One of you mentioned you wouldn't mind seeing me do a road that goes through a pass and we build along a pass. I don't know how much forest is right here, but let's let's try going that direction and we'll see what we find. I aims to please, people. I aims to please. You guys are important to me. When you got suggestions and ideas, I try my best to follow through on them. I do, I do. Uh, wow, well, those are some that's a that's one heck of a pointy mountain up there, huh? They look nice though. I'm just keeping my eyes open for iron. We haven't really found any great iron deposits just yet. But, uh, oh, we're, not, we're out of stamina. We have to walk. We'll, uh, we'll keep working on it. Oh, there's a cabbage. Wow, there's a bunch of cabbages. Let's grab those up. If anything else, we can use these guys for seeds later on down the road. There we go. Perfect. I missed one. It doesn't matter. We're good. That was uh, that was quite a few, quite a few cabbages there. Don't want to miss out on those. Oh, and the herbs too. The herbs seem to be, they're they're much more plentiful now. But I like to grab them just because um, they're pretty important. They're they're in a lot of recipes. Come on. Sorry, I'm making you sick with that. <laughs> sorry about that. Let me spin around really fast on you. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. So hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing fantastic. A big welcome to the new subscribers. It is fantastic to have you on board. We have a fantastic, fantastic, I can say it again, fantastic group of people in here. Uh, if you've got questions about the game, leave them in the comments. If I don't get to it, one of our other fantastic subscribers and friends will answer it for you. I promise you that. Indeed. Uh, go west, young man. Go west. Continue on. Our character, by the way, is Ronan Condorian. That's always my medieval name. Ronan Condorian. I came up with that name back when I played Skyrim. <laughs> Beautiful game as well. Uh, we'll grab this pumpkin right here. I believe so. Thank you, pumpkin. Come on in my inventory. Oh, there's a little more flax up here too. Awesome. Yeah, I think it'd be important to grab the flax right now. So we could have it uh, in case we maybe wind up in an area that doesn't have a lot of it. We want to grab a hold of that, so we're going to get a little bit of materials of each so we can, um, you know, have that to uh, uh, make seeds so we can plant. We'll grab another pumpkin here, too. Boop, there it is. Oh, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day, medieval engineers. So what would, what would some of the things that you guys would like to see? I, I know I've asked this before, and I believe... The top answers for something like that was uh, moving water, or water in general, I should say, because there is no water on the world. This is a dry planet. No water. Uh, map? Oh, wow. We. Oh, you know what? I don't think this exactly shows where we're at. I believe we're on the correct road. It doesn't show you exactly where you're at on the map. God, I, I think I'm, I'm doing this right. We'll find out soon enough. We'll do a little running here, too. We've got plenty of food. We're going to want to make a campfire and get that going. And uh, we should get a workbench going, too. So ooh, here's some more flax right over here. Let's grab these guys up real fast, too. There we go. Beautiful. And there's an herb. And we'll grab this herb, too. Then we should have enough of that. We should have enough of that to get going. 
If you're having trouble finding rocks, they're really everywhere. If you look along the roads and in the forest, you should be able to find plenty of rocks to get yourself going. Plenty of rocks. One thing Keen Software House is good about doing is listening to these uh, their their players and, and uh, you know responding to that. And if you didn't know it, they have an update every week. Every Tuesday, they have an update. One Tuesday, they add new things to the game. The next Tuesday, they have bug fixes and then vice versa. And it continues on like that. It is really a, a fantastic thing. So I see an ore deposit right there, but that doesn't look any brighter than what we had uh, last season. You know what I mean? I, I would really like to find something that's a little uh, very promising. Nice. We'll grab a few more of these little rocks here, too. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, now, look at this. Look at this area here. This is nice. Oh, look at this. It truly is a valley, right? I mean, with the mountains on both sides like this and a road going down the middle of it, it's truly a valley. What do we got for iron in here, though? That's 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 the key, the iron. We've got to have iron. This, Like I said, I don't want to... I don't want to jip us on the iron this time around. I want us to have enough of it to to be able to have just a lot of fun with it. And, and, and I think it's going to become more necessary for things, too. I noticed a lot of the farming equipment uh, was, you know, you needed a lot of it. And last season, we did not have a lot. And the deposits we found were pretty small. So we want to we wanna keep our eyes open for some rich deposits of iron. I see a nice orange one coming up up here on the left side of the road. But I am looking for the mother load. That was um, that was beautiful right through there. That was really, really beautiful through there. Why don't I feel like I'm anywhere near where I need to be? I'm going to run a little bit here. So there's another deposit, but it's also not a very good orange. It's very light. It shows us way over here. Okay, I think we're, I think we're, uh, I don't know. I, I believe what it, it doesn't show you your exact position on the map, right? I don't think it does. Well, we're cutting back to the northeast a little bit here, so that's good. Uh, we're going to be running out of stamina here pretty quick, too. We need to grab... Let's grab one of these little trees right here real fast, just to get a few logs in our inventory. Wouldn't mind uh, building a workbench, too. Timber. Down you go. You guys notice that moss on the tree right now, right? We'll grab those sticks, too. We don't want to leave the stump behind. Oh. There's some roots, just plain old roots sitting there. All right, let's chop this guy up. Let's get a few of these in our inventory, just because we should. We're going to need these to build the workbench and, uh, you know, other things, timbers and stuff down the road. And we can take the uh, pine, the limbs from the, the tree, and use these as our, our campfire to get that going. There we go. Uh, inventory now it wants us to make that right there and let's go ahead and make a fire pit as well and now you don't have to stay in the menu while you're crafting you can back out of it and it just keeps working which i think is actually a huge addition to the game because i don't know how many times i was making something and i'd have to stand there and wait 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 it's really nice that you can actually walk away from it let's grab a few more of these little stones whoops there we go Oh, there's another root. There we go. Beautiful. And there's a few more stones right here. Oh, come to me. There's a few more there. And we'll take this one. And we'll take you as well. I don't want to leave anybody behind. That is an awesome looking valley. But I don't see any what I would call iron deposits that I've not seen before. So that is a problem for me. Like this right here, that is not a rich iron deposit. That's a very 
This one here is also appears to be kind of weak. I think we're looking for a really bright orange to almost red color. Tell me if I'm wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. We're going to head up over this mountain, and then we're going to get some food cut up, uh, cooked up because we're down to 20 right now in our food. We could just eat the berries and stuff, but I like to play the game in survival. It's survival, right? That's, that's what we're doing. That's why you guys are watching the videos, too. It's survival, so that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. We're going to survive. Now, this looks like a little bit darker orange than what I'm accustomed to seeing here, too. So maybe we're getting into a richer area. We didn't explore too much in the last season. We kind of uh, walked around for a while. What, two episodes, I think? And then we found a spot. And then I happened to walk a little ways away from that spot. And I found that nice mesa or plateau, whatever you want to call it. And we, we built there. And uh, the Rising Sun Kingdom erupted from that area. And it was beautiful. And it was a lot of great fun. And I, I learned so much in Season 2 about what a castle is. What a keep is. Dijon. Uh, how a gatehouse should operate. You know, with the whole... With the... Um, Portcullis. I love these words. Portcullis and the, the big gate. So all that stuff was really interesting, and you guys helped me through all of that, and it was beautiful. And wow we, wow we, what do we got going on down here, you guys? Look at this road. Look at this road down this mountain right here. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is really cool. Oh, I like this road. A mountain, a mountain, a mountain road. Never did one of these before. Grab this rock. Boop. Grab you two guys. Yeah, that's right. I took you. I took you. You're mine now, rock. You're mine. I just like the way you lay there. <laughs> Nothing like a good rock that just lays around. Well, here's a, like a fork in the road, too. <laughs> Very interesting. Look at here. Oh, that's a beautiful spot, isn't it? I mean, come on. You lay he who. <laughs> oh, look at this. They called him Fancy Pants. Because he runs like he's got Fancy Pants on. Oh, watch it. Watch it. Oh, that's a rough one. Someone needs to come back here and get this road graded. It's in pretty bad shape. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. How are we doing on the map? Uh, Libos. Libos. Okay, we are. I, I thought so. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, this is really a nice spot. Now, the request from you guys is you'd like to see something up in the mountains a bit. Uh, I've got requests for... There's got to be some kind of road activity going through here. So we've got that going on. We've got mountains around us. The only thing we're missing is the iron. We don't have... Ooh, what's this over here? What's this over here? Oh, no, that looks darker than what I've seen before. We're out of stamina. Must walk. Must cook food, too, very soon. Let's take a look at this up here real fast. Up, 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 up. That looks pretty red. That looks really red to me right there. Let's stay up on the edge of the mountain so we can look down a little bit and see things. From up high. Okay, I'm seeing like iron right there. It's not... You know, we're going to need more than that. We got, we got the old G word going on here, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of greed. Mm, a little bit of greed. Got to have plenty of it. I mean, I wouldn't mind having like some, some really big iron deposits and then some small ones around it as well. Uh, just to kind of supplement. But a big one would be nice to start off with. And I think that's where we're going to start. Uh, you know, we'll dig there first and get a nice iron supply going and get the, uh, the chest tucked away and stuff like that. We're going to have to use the Palisades this time around too to kind of have that initial... Uh, protection. This is a nice little area right here. Let's go over here and ex let's go over here and um, investigate this iron deposit here real quick, just out of curiosity. As I said, I didn't want to. I don't want to spend too much time traveling. There's, there's, 
there's so many beautiful locations. And I once had a subscriber say to me, and maybe you're still watching out there, um, I hope you are, that, you know, sometimes you pick a spot and you make it beautiful. Yeah, that is that is part of the fun, is to make it beautiful. So I, I agree with that. Totally agree with that. Yeah, that is a very bright orange right there. Almost a reddish color, isn't it? And what's nice now is we can dig this up and then we can fill it in with dirt. Is this a super rich deposit? I've never seen any of them look that red before. That looks to me like it's a, a really bright one. A rich one. What's going on up here? Okay, so we've got more over here. This isn't... Uh... Wow, but this is this one looks like a large one. Look at this. It stretches way up here. This whole area is an iron deposit right here. So that's a good one, too. See anything else over here on these mountains? I see one right there. You're better off being up here on the mountains where you can actually take a look around. Don't forget too, once you hit V and you pull out in this mode, you can go Alt. And you I mean you could you could scroll out and take a look around. Oh wow, do you see what I see over here? I see bright red over here in the trees, right up there under the word umbral. There's a lot of that right there. Our food is dropping quickly. Um, let's get let's get down here. Let's go over by it and take a look. That is a nice deposit. Now that one looks pretty rich. And big too. Oh man, that looks nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. We may have found a spot. Do I want to build on the road or off the road a little bit? And we could actually extend the road to our place. Okay, we need to we need to cook something. Hold on. Let's 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 cook a little something here. Let's get our campfire set up. F to access that. We're gonna go ahead and throw in some fuel and let's go ahead and drop some berries in there. Uh so control click takes one out at a time? Half. Half a stack. Oh then half of that stack. Okay. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Uh, so we're gonna shift the mushrooms in. We're gonna shift these roots in and these herbs. And what can we make? We can make some mushroom soup is gonna do you much better than the roots with shrooms. Much better. So all we have to do is start clicking on this and we can cook a bunch up. I don't know that it actually tells me when I run out of enough. It used to say, okay, you don't have enough to make that many. But we're going to go ahead and eat one of those right away. Excuse me. <coughs> Sip my coffee here. I'm going to get this episode up to you as quick as I can to let you guys see what I'm looking at and what I'm considering doing this season. Uh, I want a kingdom that's going to stretch out like the last one did but I want to be able to work on how can I say this I felt like last season we built that mine which was great but then the bridge we, we kind of built the mine to build the bridge you know what I mean and so I'd, I would rather build something closer to where the iron is so we don't have to travel quite so far because eventually the bridge was just it looked great out there in the forest but it didn't really serve a purpose to us anymore so I would like to uh, be a little more we're centrally located I don't want to skimp on the size of the kingdom we're building. I like the size we were going with, and we were doing really well with the smaller buildings in it and stuff like that. We had a really nice keep. The castle wall had not been finished, but I would like to be able to do something like that again. I really enjoyed it very much. Uh, okay, so it's not done. So see, that doesn't tell me that I can't make any more. But that's okay. We, we've got four. Okay, and F to pick up the campfire. Oh, wow, that's cool. He reached down and picked it up. Let's get up here on this hill and take a look back and see what we got going on here. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and eat another one of these mushroom soups. That should get us almost to 100% right there. And then we don't have to think about food for a little while. Oh, mama. What is that over there? Sweet mama. Look at that over there. Dang, that's a big deposit of iron oh 
boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I do like this area. We've got some really beautiful mountains going on around here, don't we? We've got roads. We've got mountains. We've got a really nice forest. That iron deposit right down there is screaming, Hey, radio, dig me up first. Build something nearby and store all of me into it. <sighs> I know, right? I know. It's really tough. I don't know if it's way over here, but we're not. We're actually... We're over here. We are over here somewhere. Yeah, see, we're over the mountain range here. Levos. Uh, we're going to try to get into more engineering this season, too. Because it is, after all, medieval engineers. We're going to get into some more of that. I'm gonna. That's where I'm really going to need a lot of your guys' help. Because I am not an engineer. I love to build, but making machines and things that work... Uh, it, it, it doesn't matter what game. I, I used to play Minecraft all the time, too. Some of you know that. Minecraft was a staple in my life for like six years. And uh, I was never good. I never did get good at the redstone. What's this over here? Those mushrooms are glowing. You see that? Why are they glowing like that? That was weird. They were highlighted from such a long ways away. Huh. Don't know. Wow, this looks really good down in here. Again, I'm going to go back up on this mountain range here and just take a look around, okay? I need to wrap my imagination around this and kind of see what, what, what it is I'm looking at here. I don't want to have to travel far for stuff. I really don't want to do that this time. I mean, it's okay once we run out of iron, but I want our stone mine to be a stone mine for as long as we need stone, and then we go out and we get iron. And we make it the rich deposits of iron. This is pretty cool up in here, too. We've got this little tiny forest up here. And this valley down here is just gorgeous, man. It is really beautiful. Let's get out here on this point. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You know me. It's all about the scenery. I want to be able to enjoy what it is I'm looking at while I'm, while I'm grinding away and, and building. I love this valley. I do love this valley. Isn't it awesome? Look at all look at all the timber we have here. We've got some really nice iron deposits. We've got a great big one in the side of that mountain over there. And we've got this road leading in and out of the, the area. We don't have tightly knit mountains that we can build in between though without having to be way up here and I don't want to be way up here oh, that, look at that that's so much iron I know I could probably travel some more and find I could probably find numerous valleys like this but I don't want to spend a lot of time running around and looking for something I, I want to I want to get busy. I want to get busy on Season 3. And uh, as I mentioned just a second ago, sometimes you pick a spot and it's beautiful and you can continue to beautify it and make it look even better. Um, yeah, it's pretty spectacular up here. It really is. I'm going to say we're we're not here. There's, there's just no way we're here. There's even a road on this. We're just close. We've got to be just close. This map confuses me. Sorry, it just does. It, I don't. I don't get it. We're in Levos region B three. B three. We're in Levos region B three right now. The only other place I could think of that might be equal to this is right through here. This looks pretty cool over here too. I mean, there's just so many spots we could go to. I don't know. That's going to have to wrap up episode one, though. I mean, look at this iron down here. Boom. Boom. <sighs> wow. Just so much. Uh, and there's a, there's a light one down there. I believe that's one there, too. But that's going to have to wrap up episode one 
of season three. I'm glad you guys are excited about it. Hopefully, I'm you know I'm excited about it. I hope I've uh, relayed that message to you. So if you enjoyed today's episode, do hit that like button for me. I would appreciate it very much. Comment, subscribe, and share on the Radio Man 03. I want you to have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.